Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee. Call me the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests joining us this morning. That's right. One of them has been here a whole lot. Super friend yes. to the room. Uh, our guy, Mike Epps. Another is a legend who I'm mad. This is the first time we ever talking to her on Breakfast Club, and it's via damn Zoom. That's right. Wanda Sykes, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, uh, finally, I made it. I made it to the <laughs> Breakfast Club. You should have been here in person. That's what you should have been. <laughs> what did I have to do to get here? And like you said, it's, it's Zoom. When, when I, when, when, Wanda, I when I saw you. with Mike Epps. And get a show on Netflix as as number one, and I finally make it to the Breakfast Club. I saw you. I saw you uh, at Tiffany Haddish's 40th birthday party in December of 2019, and you said you was coming to Breakfast Club, and then then here come COVID. I know, right? Exactly. But, Wanda, well, if you would have if you would have caught a gun charge a long time ago, <laughs> you'd have been on there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mike. You're right. And I, 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 I want to say I love that sweatshirt. Scandals, you know, a nice, I say a, I love nice me, a nice Me Too or something going on. <laughs> I like that we are celebrating good news, though, with the new show, The Upshaws. I like the good news because uh, Paige Absolutely. has been telling me about this show for quite a while because he was on the show. So he kept talking it up, talking it up. And you know how somebody talks about something, you're like, all right, when is the show coming out already? But it's out. And so congratulations on how well it's doing on Netflix. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Angela. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I thank y'all. Thank thank the fans. Thank y'all for, for watching, man. Like I was saying, y'all just not binging it. Y'all are devouring it. I mean, That's like, amazing. Pe people are like watching it like two or three times. It's, it's, it's amazing. Hey, let me ask y'all a question, man, before we get started. Because, you know, we just did come out of a pandemic. I guess we still in it. But mm -hmm. how are y'all? How how are both of you? How are you? How, how how are you? And I want an honest answer. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It, you know, I've I've been through a lot. You know what I mean? I've been through. You know, I lost both my parents Dang. in December, <laughs> and you know, previous to that, we was all on home detention. We was locked mm -hmm. down, so it been rough for me. But you know, my I got so much faith in God. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna let nothing stop me. I got to I got to stay down. I'm doing what they wanted me to do. You know what I mean? And let's be good, let's be successful and mm -hmm. and be happy. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm sending you healing energy, Mike. Damn. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. brother. Yeah. Mike, Mike has Mike has really, you know, been through it. And uh and I, th I think it was it was cool that we, you know, weren't just doing a show about a about a family, you know. I've, I've known Mike for years, so it's like it's like we're family, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. so we all, you know, was supporting him, keeping him lifted up. But he's he's a strong brother. He really is, and and he has, and like you said, that faith in God, and uh, it, it it got us all through, you know. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm I'm dealing with the I got the the, the, the kids and everything and all, but it's uh you know we just feel we just feel blessed really mm -hmm. i mean you know right. it's hard and then and, and we, mm -hmm. we're not gonna sugarcoat it i mean a lot of people went through depression you know mm -hmm. I, I had oh, some yeah. issues you know dealing with it because it, it was just we've never experienced something like this you know like mike saying like right. hold attention and and then when you see all these people losing their lives i know so many friends who've lost people also right. and uh you, you you feel blessed, but but you also are like just it's just sad. You just feel sad, and then all the stuff we were going through with the with from George Floyd on and before mm -hmm. that, you know, it was just dang. It was just it feels like like when like the camel's about to break, man. You know? <laughs> For real, huh? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> but now, you, know, you know, but just we just also being able to go back to work that was that was really healing that was a that nice was that healing. was a blessing yeah absolutely that was like you know a little treat you know what i mean to get mm -hmm. back to go back because we had i mean the restrictions was i mean man it wasn't nobody on the street when we was coming to work in the morning like it was it was crazy man so you know to be like wanda said to get back be able to go back to work and still put out some positive good comedy about a good black family man it was it, it's been a blessing man god worked it was a silver lining through the whole thing yeah and we like looked out for each other too because we knew like hey one positive case 
we, you know, we we back in, we back on detention, you know, we back yeah. in lockdown. So I, I ain't gonna lie, Mike. I was I was checking the hell out of your IG. I was. I said, let me see, <laughs> let me see what he's doing on. We get trying on. to see if I was in a strip club or something. Huh? <laughs> now, now we 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 talk about everybody that comes up here. We talk about every HBCU when they wear all these other. But you, nobody's gonna say nothing about our Hampton University sweatshirt. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all just you the Hampton that. alumni? You say something. Y'all are just, just going you. to ignore the fact that she got a Hampton University you t-shirt Hampton on. Alumni, that she's a Hamptonian. I'm just making sure that y'all understood that she went to the best HBCU ever, Hampton University. I'm just saying it. That's right. Yeah. The real HU. Oh, Envy, you went to Hampton too? Sure did. Oh, my God. Of course. Is that a good, oh, my God, <laughs> my ex, because the way you said it. <laughs> well, what else? Come on. Of course. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know. You can't tell when you when you say Hampton, you got to be careful because you know it's some uh, it's some other ones around there. What's 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 y'all rivals called? I I don't know. I just know Hampton. Hampton yeah, University. we don't have no That's rivals. Anyone. You might be talking Georgetown, about the fake HU. What's, the, what's y'all other? How, Howard University? You probably talking about, but we don't talk. We don't discuss them. Well, we we get we give Howard some juice now because of Howard, uh, our vice yeah. president. Yeah, and she's my uh, sorority sister, so I, I give Howard a little <laughs> love right now. That's it's all united, you know. You were AKA Wanda? You know, yes, absolutely. I didn't know that. Yes. Mike told me you was a Zeta. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Nothing wrong with being a Zeta. Nothing wrong with my Zetas. Ain't nothing wrong. I love That's my Zetas. That's right. Sisters and my Deltas. I'm a Sigma Gamma. Don't let them cause this divisiveness. Heart. That's right. Now, now, hey, I, you know what? Uh-huh. Uh, them ain't nothing but gangs, Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> you right. You right. They got the signs and the. Do it, right. Mike. Don't do it. Don't do it. You yeah. know they're gonna come. <laughs> we got our little steps, all that. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 how'd y'all come together for the upshaws? Oh man, Mike actually reached out to me. And uh, he wanted to meet, and he was like, hey, I, I, I want to do a show. But I'm um, to be honest with you, when they first said, hey, Mike Epps wants to meet with you, I was like, oh, jeez. Do, <laughs> do I really need Mike Epps in my life? And <laughs> I've known Mike for years, though. I, 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 I love him, you know. So I was like, all right, let me let me hear what this mug wants to do. So, <laughs> and he told me he wanted to do this show about a you know working class family uh, in the Midwest. He wanted to do like a Black Roseanne, and I was like, damn, this is a great idea because you know we don't have that. And I and I then we start talking about shows that we like, um, and we both are Norman Lear fans. And I and, and when he said that, I was like, okay, now you speak in my language because I wanted to show the to, you know, to say something. And also I was like, you know, there's not a show out there that doesn't represent this part of, of America and also uh, tells our story, you know? And uh, it's either black families are very successful or, or it's drugs or we're coming out of slavery, you know? So yeah, man, so we wanted to do something to celebrate the, the black working class family and, and laugh and but make it real because families are messy. So we want it to be messy. And uh, yeah, it's messy. So we want it to be messy and, and authentic. And because that's how most Americans are living right now. Now, you do have like a explain this extra baby, the bonus child that's on the episode. It was a break or something that you took or like, how did this come about? I want to hear this part of the story. What well, it is. It- and I mean, well, you know, <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing about this is what made the show so good is that, you know, they have a perception of black people have a perception of who's the perfect black person for white people. I'm one of the guys that I represent all the brothers who are not perfect, who don't act perfect. Mm-hmm. We who we are. And we got kids and we got we got felonies, we got problems. That's, That's right. really a big percentage of us in the community. That's right. So 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 to do a show like this and for me and Wanda and Kim to represent these characters, this is a breakthrough in show business. Yeah. 
There's no such thing as a perfect human, and I don't know why people act like that. I hate when people say that, uh, um, my unproblematic fave. Ain't no such goddamn thing. <laughs> not, 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 not nobody. Not Martin Luther King Jr. You can't find a perfect black person, and if you do, you, they lying. Right, and, right. But, but what I do appreciate about the show is that, like you said, nothing is perfect, but you work through things, right? And I think that can help people because so many people are in the situation where they're like, okay, he has a baby mother. I don't necessarily like her, but we do have to figure out how do we get along for the sake of our family and for the kids. And that is something that people really struggle with. Right. And that's what this show is, that you know, and that's why I went to... Wanda. I could have went to a million other comedians, but I went to Wanda because I knew that she could take it and dish it right. at the same time. <laughs> let me ask y'all. Mean, I, I was mean, Mike. Mike told me I was mean. I was like, what? <laughs> that's what I, but you know what? That but see, that's what that's what made great. That's what made these tell that's what I think made this show great, is because we had veteran Kim Fields there who's been mm -hmm. doing TV forever. Tootie? Mm -hmm. that, you know, anchoring this show. And then to get Wanda and me, we comics, we got Paige Kennedy, who's a beast on there. Michael Estime, uh, 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 Gabrielle Dennis. We got some great. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, what is Kim Fields doing with the show? That's his wife. Yeah, th th thanks for supporting this, Charmaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of content. I'm going to get to it. It's a, like, it's a lot of content out here in these streets. Good good job, no, but it's, it's And it's good. The episodes are like 30 minutes, so you can catch them, you know, because I know sometimes mm -hmm. I get addicted. Like when I turn on Netflix and then it just go to the next one and then to the next one. And I did enjoy really watching it. And I told you, Paige Kennedy has been talking about this show for the longest. He was so excited about it. No, so he as was. soon as it came out. And Wanda Sykes, I loved you on Curb Your Enthusiasm so much. Like, you were one of my favorite characters, you oh, know, on that you. show. So I was excited to see you as Auntie Lucretia on here. Thank you. Yeah, Kim, Kim Fields is killing it. I'm telling you. Uh, if, if she doesn't get the Emmy, I, I you know, that's, that's how good she is on this show. Oh, wow. yeah. She deserved it. Yeah. Well over Judy, Judy's a grown-ass woman. <laughs> Damn. Let me ask you a question, Wanda. Is comedy still fun? It's it is now. It is now. Really? Um I'm like Mike is already back out. I can't I can't wait to get out there. You know, I haven't been on stage in uh, over a year and a half. So uh but it is now, but at one point, nah, it, it wasn't funny. Uh I, I didn't find anything funny and <laughs> I was in a place where I, I didn't think I, I was I didn't want to go out and do not that I could, but I didn't even want to do the Zoom stuff because I didn't I was in a place where I was like, I, no, I, I ain't making nobody laugh. Y'all don't deserve to laugh right now. Right. <laughs> I was. I was I put everybody on punishment. I was like, no, I ain't I ain't doing <laughs> You know, just I was so stupid to everything, you know. But uh <laughs> What got you back to that place where things were funny again? What got you back to that place where you you enjoy comedy again? Definitely, definitely working on this show. Definitely when I when I started started writing on, on this show, um, it, it was it was cathartic. It really was, and you know, just working through stuff and and then the the election. St Stacey Abrams, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean e everything. You know, Kamala. <laughs> I mean, it it just made it it. I, I saw light. I saw. I was like, okay, so this country isn't as you know. It, it, there's some hope, you know. But I, I'm talking right. about. We had Billy Crystal on, and Billy Crystal said, "Comedy, doing comedy nowadays is like walking through a field of landmines." You know what I'm saying? Because anything you say can and will be used against you. Is it? Is it still fun in that aspect where you got to watch what you it say? It all depends, Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. It all depends because. Yeah. It's because I'm out there every weekend saying every and every and anything and the craziest stuff. And ain't nobody going to say nothing to me. I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way. I don't feel like I'm handcuffed or, you know, because yeah. like maybe because we aren't, you know, when we say something, we speak in truth. And it's, mm -hmm. it's coming from a place of, you know, uh, yeah. And we comedians. 
Yeah, that that too. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I, if, I guess if, if if I were a white guy and and now, you know, we got some heat on us and, and people are saying, oh, you can't say this, can't say that anymore. You're like, well, but I'm a white guy. I'm, I'm supposed to, to say anything I want to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why are people telling me this isn't right? I'm I'm a white guy. Come on. But mm-hmm. so we yeah, I don't know. I, I never I don't feel like that. I don't I don't. Nah, I, I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say. Gotcha. You, know what? Right. you think you're underrated? Because I, I feel like when people <laughs> talk about some of the women comedians and they talk about some of the greats, a lot of times they don't mention your name, but you are funny as hell and you've done so much. Do you feel like you're underrated at all? Hey, you know, well, you know. Um, I, Honestly, truthfully. I, I do what I do. And if I'm happy with it, then I I, I feel good about it. And I mean, you know, it's it's nice when when people recognize what you do when they, you know, that's that's why this this feels so good right now. The you know, the success of the show this this feels great. Did they uh, did they greenlight a season two already? Not yet, not yet. But it's coming. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, so many other. I'm sure. I'm not. I'm not yeah. even gonna put that out there. I'm. I'm yeah. How, how, hey, well, you know what? When Eddie Murphy texted me and told me I had a, that we he was like, "Man, y'all got a funny show," wow. and I like, <laughs> I knew that we was on. <laughs> I were the only two comedians not in coming to America too, too, because I think y'all were the only <laughs> comedians not in coming to America too. You know, I was I, a little too light skinned for that movie. Uh, <laughs> I actually watched it. Thinking I was going to see myself. And I was like, fool, you ain't in this movie. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Did y'all like it? With the Black Panther, too. I was like, damn, didn't I? Damn, I wasn't on the black. Okay, all right. Damn. Did y'all like coming to America, too? Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed parts of it. You know what yeah. I mean? I enjoyed some of it. <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, let me ask you this. I've heard a lot of comedians say they got a little rusty because obviously it was a different time during the pandemic. People weren't on stage. I know, you know, obviously that's how you guys work things out. So how was that for you, like getting back to work and getting back on stage? I know, Mike, you've been doing some live shows, right? Oh, yeah. What I, put about together, you? I put together a comedy tour called The Real Life Comedy Tour, and I got Country Wayne, DC Young Fly, Carlos Miller, uh, uh, Lavelle Crawford. I, I put I put together a tour during the pandemic. I'm the only one out right now doing arenas, but we do two shows uh, uh, in the equals of one show. And and the way we doing it, we got people spotted in the arena. We doing in the only in the circle, so ain't nobody close to nobody. Gotcha. But you know, it, they are black shows, so of course there has been some fights in, up in the stands because people was arguing over seats. So I'm like, all these empty seats, and the guy over here arguing with another dude. <laughs> now, now we also seen that video of you. Uh, they call it karma when you when you invited the lady on stage, uh-huh. and then you and then you you uh, slapped on. Hey, I was so scared for you, Mike. I said, well, Mike out here acting like it's the 90s and it's freak nigga. I said, Mike, what the hell is Mike doing slapping ass in 2021? Hey, you know what, brother? Envy, I know you a cop. And Charlamagne, you <laughs> need and you need to stop asking cop <laughs> questions. Both of y'all are police. And first of all, let me tell yeah. both of you cops. Let me tell both of you cops something right now oh, live on the air. <laughs> My fans and, and 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 whatever I do in a comedy show is in the comedy show. Uh, I fail, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like I always do, I got right back up. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know what I mean? All uh, 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 you know. But it's all in, it's all in fun, man. And, and like like I said, the people that come to my show are the people that's watching this show and watching and Ben's watching this show over and over. And also Wanda's fans. And that's why I think the show was so good because she brought an audience that was mm-hmm. not really hip to me, to me. And I brought an audience. They know Wanda, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
my audience is straight up uh, PPP money and and scam <laughs> and ghetto and all that. You know what I mean? And Wanda, you, you know, didn't. You, I, was, oh. I was worried about. I was worried when you slapped the ass. I was like, oh boy, when Mike gets home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you rewind, if, <laughs> if you rewind the tape and you look at the girl, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask you, you what you're you saying, Mike. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, I'm not even gonna ask you to expound on that. <laughs> and since, and, and since we since we are talking relationships during this pandemic, have you guys how have there been more challenges? I know a lot of people talk about like being at home when you're not used to being at home so much. So has your relationships changed in any way just during this pandemic? I, I, we we've definitely gotten a little more honest with each other. I think. <laughs> you know, I mean, that means it, it was like some days I just looked at her. I was like, oh, like, <laughs> like I'm, you're annoying me. Stop, you know. And, and we, we, yeah, we've had some some points, but but we end up laughing about it though because it's it's. Uh, you just honest and and, it's, and you're like I, I, I'm like I just gotta I just gotta go for a walk and look at somebody else because mm-hmm. ah I can't I can't do this <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep doing this so yeah we we've gotten honest with each other what was that I said you were EP on this show too right yeah EP and uh, and uh, co creator with Regina Hicks how, how how is the approach different when you the EP and co creator and you starring it how is your approach to the to the role different. Um, well, you know, I've, I've been in this position before, so it was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the writer's room and, uh, you know, getting the scripts together and everything. And then when I'm, but when I'm on stage and performing, I, I, I try to, you know, I, I turn that other part off so we can, you know, so I can make the, make the performance. But when, um, when I'm not in the scene, then I get back behind the monitors and you know and and watch everything. Mm. But um, it I mean it it was it, it also it was it was cool working with Mike because mm. you know like encourage him to like hey man if this if this how, how would you say this if this doesn't sound right to you or you know Mike you got a better joke for this so it was it was just um, real cool very collaborative. Absolutely. Gonna, it looks like y'all probably had a lot of fun on set too, working together. Like that it looked is. like a fun. It was fun. It was fun showing up every morning with Wanda and Kim and Paige, and I mean, it was it was almost like summer school. You remember how fun <laughs> summer school used to be? No, no, I don't. I do. <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to go all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, just there for a couple of hours. I hated being there, but I get what you're saying. It was fun. <laughs> I had to go for seventh grade, eighth grade, and ninth grade. Three years in a row with my dumb ass. Wow. Summer school. <laughs> do you? We're going back out on the road, you know, cancel culture is, it seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse. Do you guys have to edit jokes to make sure you're not offending somebody now? Or is it like, after who cares? I mean, like I said, like I said, everybody know who I am. So people, you can't come to my show and expect nothing different than what I'm going to say and do. You know what I mean? Just like you said, what I did when I, fell and hit the girl on the butt or whatever the situation is. Everybody that come to my show know what it is. They come into my show because guess what? Mike Epps is a fool. He going, ain't no teller. I mean, I've been having fun on the show, man. I ride a bike to the stage, get off. I might bring somebody's auntie on the stage like Mother's Day. I was bringing, I was bringing some of the mothers on the mothers that mothers on the stage. And we was dancing with Keep Sweat on. And you know what I mean? It's, it's a party. It's fun. You know, right. so. You don't make people, I don't make people lock their phones up? Man, I ain't, I'm, we are, we straight off, we off the block. We straight off, we ain't no, no, <laughs> no, we, we having a good time. Ain't no rules and regulations. Ain't that, that's what I'm saying about the show and, and the character that I portray. But Benny Upshaw is I come to represent all the brothers who don't have no restrictions, that got felonies, baby mamas, <laughs> the police don't like them, the police want to kill them. Uh, I mean, I'm representing all of that through this character, Benny Upshaw. 
So you see a lot of yourself in the character of Benny Upshaw. All day. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you drive your wife crazy. <laughs> hey, guess what? I think everybody drives their wife crazy, but at least I ain't transparent. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm right out front with mine. So yeah, how I, was the but, how was the pandemic? Because Wanda talked about feeling like sometimes she just needed a break. Like, uh, how was it for you guys? Well, you know, we we went through the same regular uh, uh, motions that a relationship go through. You know, every day you ain't gonna wake up happy with each other and smiling and giggling. But I got a bunch of kids and they always brighten it up. They came over and we made, I taught my kids how to make slams and little prison snacks and they was enjoying it. <laughs> what is and one of my daughters actually liked it. I'm like, you're not supposed to wow. like this right here. I made her a slam. Man, it looked like a, it looked like a casserole when I got done what with it, man. Slam, right? What'd you what put in slam? it? What'd you put in it? A slam is a is a is a penitentiary meal, a, a a a meal you make in jail or prison, and you can make it out of ramen noodles, and you can you can slice the little uh, the little chicken sausages in it, mm -hmm. and you can put a little tuna on it. You can do all kind of different stuff. The brothers know what I'm talking about. W w Wanda, as the creator and EP, how important was it for you to show a, a untraditional family on TV? That, that was that was the whole basis of the show, you know, mm -hmm. um, because it, it because it really it, it now is traditional. I mean, this family is how most Americans are are living. Uh, so I, it was important to keep it authentic. So it, that was that was the like I said the crest of the show. Hold up, now and I'm an EP too now. Uh, yeah, and why are you uh, and creator? No, I didn't, I didn't get the creator, you know. <laughs> I let Wanda, you know what, this is the thing about that. Wanda and Regina are, they they such great leaders that I like my position with them. I took the uh, uh, EP position, and then they give me a chance to let, they let me do what I want to do. And then they mm -hmm. had, they write it, they, they wrote, they wrote this script so well that every character that came in, and play, it, it was like putting on a shoe that just fits your foot. Yeah. You know? No, I, I love I love seeing people say that they like the show because, you know, I like seeing black people in the driver's seat of these shows, but sometimes I wonder if we care more about diversity and wokeness than we do about something actually being good. Man, say that again. I know, right? Yeah. Say it louder. I mean, it, it's you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. And we were on the on the the, the 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 most important thing for us was to be funny. You, I mean, mm -hmm. come on. I, I I got Mike Epps and 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 myself. And there's no way in the world we could put something out and it not be funny. We would they they would just clown us. And so I um we definitely wanted to make it funny, but we we definitely had to. Like you say, I, 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 we told Netflix it's a, it's a family about a, a black family and they're not going to just have white neighbors because that's, you know, for diversity's sake or, you know, it's because it, a lot of networks, they do that. And mm -hmm. Netflix was really good about that. They were like, look, do the show that y'all want to do. And, and they never gave us, you know, notes like that. So that's good. So it was a smooth process getting the show greenlit. It was. Mike, wasn't that crazy? I mean, Mike and I met. We talked. I I wrote up the 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 show. Mike loved it, and we went in to Netflix and pitched it to him. And they were like, they they bought it in the room, pretty much. Wow, damn. And you don't, you don't know how many you don't know how many shows we probably tried to sell previously to that. You know, the, I I remember. I mean, I've had some great ideas and went around town and. And like I said, when you when the stars line up right, and you know, I, like I said, when I thought of this idea, because we all are fans of uh, Sanford and Son and the Jeffersons, I'm like, that's the only comedy that that's the only comic comedic timing that I can really relate to. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I I could try to do some other type of comedy, but that type of comedy actually raised all of us. That's right. That's right. That 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 me is. 
I don't want to. I don't know if I call it meanness, but it's like a, it's like a meanness that's kind of missing. Like it's when you said you can, mess, when you said you can mess with Wanda and she can take it, like it's something like that that's missing. It's tough love. It's tough love, and it's being honest with each other. Just that's, that's just like me and I. When me and Wanda was on the set, you know, a couple times I was like, Wanda, you know, I don't know what's up with this. This ain't. And you know what Wanda said to me? <laughs> she said, I'm trying to do you some, do you a favor. I'm trying to help you out. You know, <laughs> and, and you know what? And instead of me taking it wrong, because maybe five or ten years ago I would have took it wrong, I thought about it. And I said, you know what? She she was, because she was trying to to say, Mike, we are, the world already knows what you do. We we already know you crazy. We know you funny, you off the cuff. But let me put you in a box where you're going to be comfortable with and still do you, but give you something to really say so that you can be focused. Because, you know, people let me freestyle in movies all the time. And let me say what I want. But when mm -hmm. I got on the set with Wanda, who worked on on, on uh, uh, Roseanne and all these different shows, she showed me a different formula of what TV is and how I could still do what I wanted to do. Oh, that's dope. So she made you better. That's right. So... so <laughs> It was just trust. Mm -hmm. Mike, all all the skill, all the tools that you know, he the talent is there. I mean, the dude is, I mean, so crazy good and just so funny. Naturally. I that. But then, but he's a good actor. He's a good actor. So it was just getting him to just to just trust, to just trust what was on the page, you know. She had to put that saddle on me, man. I was a wild <laughs> mustache. <Yeah. laughs> so what did you learn from Mike, Wanda? We heard what Mike learned from you. What did you learn from him? Uh, different weeds, different kind of weed <laughs> brand, cookies. Did you smoke with it, Wanda? <laughs> Uh well I I, and I, the I, I our, our rules with our rules were next door so I, I got a couple of contacts I you know I wasn't even really smoking with him but yeah he definitely took me out a couple of times <laughs> what did you what did you did you what did you learn from him though no I learned from Mike um not not to be so much in you, you know in your head and take some risk mm -hmm. and and just to Sometimes I just got like don't give it don't give a damn just you know uh not not be so uh I don't wanna say scared but yeah just to even be bolder just have have fun you know it's like hey what's what's gonna happen what don't don't worry about it just just go for it that's right well listen man I hate Zoom interviews I wish that y'all could be in studio right now. Yeah, me too. But we appreciate. We're gonna make it happen, though. We appreciate y'all, uh, you know, having the conversation, and I can't wait to check out the Upshaws this weekend. Right, check thank out you. Thank man, you, guys. thank y'all for supporting us and having us on, man. And thank all the fans, me and Wanda and the whole crew. We want to thank the fans because without the fans. We wouldn't have been number one on Netflix, so thank you guys. That's right. And Mike, oh, 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 Mike, y'all got Meet the Blacks two coming out again too, right? We got Meet the Blacks two, uh, uh, starring me and Cat Williams, a Deion mm -hmm. Taylor film, uh, June the eleventh. Make sure y'all check it out. Lil Duval, Snoop Dogg, we got the whole crew together. There you go. This is our second one we did. There That's why go. it's called Meet the Blacks two, Mike. Thank you so much for checking in to Mike Epps. We appreciate you. I, also, Mike Epps, I want to say thank you. You know, I, when the Breakfast Club first started, you were one of the comedians that came on and you rocked with us when a lot of people didn't. You remember, we just seen a skit that you did. I think it was like our first skit. You remember that skit? Where you yeah. knocked out the, the girl's hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, not only that, Mike used to, Mike used to have me host his... Um, his, I don't know if that was Easter Sunday. It was a show you used to do at the Garden every year for about three, four years. And Mike used to oh, always yeah. have me host it, man. I appreciate yeah, that's that. That's a tough crowd. That's a tough crowd to host in front of when you're not a comedian, too. Shit, that not has for to me. Nerve All I had to do was say, come into the stage. <laughs> Y'all ready for Mike Epps? Make some noise. Got love for the Breakfast Club, man. Love. That's breakfast Absolutely. Club love, baby. I, I'm just honored I finally made it here, man. No, Thank you got to come to the studio, <laughs> Wanda. We need you, you know, in the studio. We are we are honored, and I would be so excited for you to come up in person. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. All right. We love y'all. Love. Right, love y'all. Thank you.